Dash, uh, you were diagnosed with Tourette syndrome as a kid. What was that like? Uh, when did you become first aware? Um, I was six. It's tough as a kid because A, kids don't understand, and B, it's usually generally worse uh, around the ages of like 12 when kids are can be really, really brutal. And, um, you know, I grew up in New York City and, and it's a tough town as well. So, uh, you know, I'm no, there's no pity party here. It, may, it made me who I am today. Um, uh, but um, I'm, I'm happy to um, educate anybody who wants to know because it's a very misunderstood uh, syndrome and you know it doesn't really make sense to people um, and you know a little little education a little uh, breeds acceptance and uh, I think we could all use a little bit of that. Yeah so I would agree and, and here you are now in Hollywood many years later successful actor and in a career that requires a lot of control but yet setting an example for others with Tourette's that they can actually have a career. Is that is that something that I'm sure as you went along challenged you but yet you still found a way to get through? A hundred percent. I mean, um, you know, I, I I could twitch a little bit here. I'm on camera but but I'm I'm being me when I'm acting. I never mm. I never tick when they say action and to, to cut and uh, and uh, you know I, I've met a lot of kids uh, who have uh, Tourette's who say they want to act, but they're afraid about, you know, what are they going to do in front of somebody? And when you're putting your your passion and your heart and your your mind to something and using your body with it, um, you, you you a lot of times don't tick. So uh, I hope everybody out there knows that, and I hope that uh, you know. And Tim Howard, when he's in the goal, when the ball's in his side of the field, he he he's so focused, he doesn't you never see it. But right. when the ball's awesome. on the other side of the field, he twitches. Oh, it's interesting. Yeah, what's the biggest misconception since we're educating people about Tourette's? The biggest misconception is that everybody curses all the time. Uh, it's called coprolalia, and a very few percentage of people actually do that. And usually they, they'll do it for a certain amount of months. And, you know, ticks tend to wax and wane. And, you know, not everybody's screaming obscenities all the time. Watch new episodes of Larry King Now, Monday through Thursday, on demand on Hulu and Aura.tv.